This video file was recorded in Sabunji University during recitations for the CS204 Advanced Programming course as it was given in the spring semester of 2017. Now let's start with the last example. It's the tic-tac-toe game. Here we are going to see the usage of reference of shared variables, shared parameters. So add tic-tac-toe, everything related to it. Now let me play, you know tic-tac-toe game? Have you played this game before? Okay, can, can we play together? So one is going to be X, the other one is going to be the circle or a dot. You know this game. This is tic-tac-toe. Who wants to play with me? I, okay, you. I'm warning you, I'm never, I never lose, okay? So, it's my turn. And we have, since we are programmers now, this is a matrix actually, with three rows and three columns, starting from 0 to 2, from 0 to 2, okay? So first we're going to give the row and then the column number. I start first. Okay, I'm giving 0, 0. Your turn. So Row, column. You see the output there. It's one, one, one. One, one, okay. Your friend says one, one. All right. It's my turn now. I never lose. You also never lose. Zero, no, no zero. Two, zero. Your turn. One, zero. One, zero. Okay. One, two. Your turn. Uh, zero, one. Zero, one. Okay. Uh, two, one. Your turn. Uh, two, zero, two. Zero, two. Okay, two, two. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I won. Okay. Game is over. This is it, okay? It's hard to see from here. I'm, so you, you, you I'm sorry. You might use binoculars or I don't know. Yeah, but you are a loser anyway. You lo lost the game. If it was a draw, it would have said that it is a draw. Now let's see how we have done this game. As you can see, we have two players. Player X, player O. And we have a board. This is the board. And we share the board. If your friend makes a change, I can see it. If I make a change to that board, he can see it. And this board is going to be a private member. When we share the same private member. How are we going to share it? Of course, with references or pointers. So first, let's go with the board class. And let's see what do we have here. So. This is class board. I'm writing it here. Private members, of course, is a matrix of type string, which looks something like this. And the name of this guy is my board. So this is my board. Three by three and it's a string. String, it might actually, it's a character X or zero. And there's a function called cell is empty. Cell is empty. Okay. And I'm checking whether a certain cell is empty or not. Meaning whether I can put a value or not. Because if I put an X, your friend cannot put a zero at the same cell. Then I have the public part. I have the constructor here. Then what do I have? Play on board. And check someone wins. Display board. 
display board is for printing the board. And is board full? As you'll see, I'll only need this board class to explain everything. So let's go to the corresponding board CPP part. And let's explain it. So the constructor board is this one. This is, those are public members, by the way. What I'm doing, I'm putting an underline character. That means that the board, I'm setting the board to be empty. This means that all of the cells of the board are empty. Play on board. As you can see, play on board returns true a boolean, which is true or false. True if I can put a value, if I can play actually false if I cannot play what do I mean if I cannot play well if I want if I say you see you saw that uh, I have three rows three columns meaning the indexes are from 0 to 2 from both rows and columns but if I say row 5 column 9 then I cannot do it so this will return false or if I put an X here and your friend tries to put a 0 here or a dot here then also he cannot play otherwise he can play actually he can play if uh, the cell is, has the underlined character. Okay? Initially, you remember, the constructor made everything underlined. So, I'm checking if the row is greater than 0 or smaller than 3, or column greater than 0, column smaller than 3. And if the cell is empty, and we'll see what the cell is empty doing, then I can play. How can I play it? You see the string, the pl plate string. This is either x or dot. And I put x or dot or zero, and I return true. Otherwise, if I'm outside of the range, or if the cell is not empty, I return false. And I print this cell is not empty, invalid move, this cell is not valid, invalid move, and so on, okay? Let us check what cell is empty doing. Cell is empty. If we have on the line, it's empty, and I'm returning true, otherwise it's false. So this is Cell is empty, this is a private member. We saw the play on board function. Let's check, is board full now? Well, if all of the cells are empty, then I'm returning true. If only one cell is false, I'm returning false. Is empty, I'm returning false, okay? So this function checks whether the board is full, whether I've put x's or zeros in all of the cells. If only one cell is empty, if only one cell has an underline, that means that it's not full and I'm returning false. If I, don't, if I return false, this is it. Otherwise, if I go outside of the for loop, that means everything is empty, so I return true. So this is, is board full. Display board is just for printing the board, nothing else. So this is display board, I'm printing a matrix, a string matrix, nothing else. And check if someone wins. How do I win? Well, you see if 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, meaning 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, if all of them are of the same string, all of them are x's or all of them are zeros, then I win, okay? So this is one case. With this if loop, so this is 3 by 3, if this is all of the same character, the diagonal is of the same character, and horizontal is of the same character, then I return true. <coughs> and this is done with this if loop. So this is for the vertical place part. This is 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2 for diagonal. If, ever, if the character is the same, I return true. And this is for the vertical part. So 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0. Then we go with this part, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1. Namely 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1. This is for the which part? 0, 0, 1, 1. No, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1. This guy is only for this stuff. Then this guy 0, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2. This is for the 0, 2, 1, 2. No, 0, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2. So this is for the middle 
diagonal, the middle vertical part, this is for this vertical part in the end. If they are all of the same character, I return true. This is also 1, 1, 2, 0, so 0, 2, 0, 2, 1, 1, 0, 2, 1, 2, no, 0, 2, okay, this is it, we saw it, then we have 0, 2, 1, 1, 2, 0. So this guy is for this part here, and what is left else? The diagonal, I think, this, this guy at diagonal. Basically, you check all the combinations, okay? Sometimes some if L statements overlap, over, overlap, and this is it. Now let's go with the player class, and the player is straightforward. It's doing basically nothing except for this part. This is the most important part for the player. The private part is that I'm using the board, which is a reference. I'm sharing basically the board, and I'm using a character. So, what I'm doing is the following. I have one player here. Okay. So this is player, and it has the board inside, and my character. The name is player character. It's x or 0. Player character. Basically, x or 0. And also I have another player. Let me write it with another color. This is what I'm going to do, basically. And they both, both share the same board. Okay, so this is player 2. And this guy is player 1. Let's say the character of this guy is X. The player character of the other guy is going to be 0 or dot. Okay? But as you can see, they share the same board. That's why we send it as a reference. The board is shared as a reference. And it's of type board. So this is class board. What else do we do here? Do we have here? We have uh, as a public part the constructor, which is, I'm going to write it here. So this is a public part. This is the constructor. Then Another function called play and wins. Nothing else. Play and wins. You can share this board here using a reference as it is done here, or you can do it by a pointer. With pointer, this is not highlighted because I'm I've not defined with pointer. So if you you can do it also with a pointer, okay? I urge you to use references, not the pointers, but it's your choice. So if I Define the pointer, you see this part is going to be highlighted, okay? But I urge you not to use it. Let's see what the player CPP is doing, and it will be over. Basically, I'm calling board play on board. This is what the play function is doing. Wins, I'm check whether someone wins. Play and wins are using the functions play on board or check someone wins from the board function. Nothing else. Of course, I have both of them here. Play and wins. Now it should be straightforward from the main function. This is how I do it. I define two players. I have first I define a board, what called my board. I share my board with the both of those players, so we now really get this picture here. The character of the first player is x, the character of the second player is zero. Now I start rows equals zero, column zero, turn. Initially the turn is of the x player. Continue game is a variable that we're going to use whether the game continues or not. 
if no one wins, but we can still continue, then it's true. But if it's a draw, meaning the board is full, then it's false. Or if one player wins, the board is not full, it's going to be false. Valid move, if I can put, if I can make a valid move, okay? Meaning not out of rage or to put something in an already unempty value uh, cell. So, while I continue the game, I check. If the turn is, the, is of x, what I'm doing, I'm printing that player x turn, the player x gives his or her corresponding rows and columns, and he plays, okay? Using the play function, to the corresponding row, column, and since it's x, it puts x there, okay? But I check whether it's a valid move. So this player returns valid move, whether I've done the move or not. If it's zero's turn, I'm doing the same stuff. And if the move is valid, then simply, if I already played a valid move, I'm checking. If we, it was the turn of x, then the turn will be of zeros. If it was previously the turn of zeros, it will be the turn of x. I'm displaying the board of the, after the valid move, or invalid move, whatever. And now I check whether any of them has won, okay? If player zero wins, and it's using this function wins, or this one, then continue games become false. Okay, I don't have to continue. Player has won, and player zero won the game. If player x wins, game is false. If player zero wins, game is false. Or if the board is full, game is false, and I'm writing none won the game, okay? And I repeat this while loop again and again, up until someone wins. Now, if I go outside, that means that the game is over, and game can be over with one of those three outcomes. I display the board again, and this is it, okay? Do you want to play it again, or? No, because you're afraid to lose, I know. Okay, this is it. If you have questions, please mail me, ask me. You can even text me. See you next week.